Hey guys, what is going on? It's me Nicholas here, and I'm back with another video. If you guys notice that I've been uploading videos more lately, I've been... Oh, hold on. I really want to get this channel up and going, more professional, and I really want it to be a career, um, or a hobby. I think a hobby is more like it, because I love doing YouTube. Very fun to be interactive with you guys, learn new people, um, new languages, new ideas, and hopefully hope for the best for the future. But I wanted to talk about Rockwell hardness. If you're wondering what that is, that's basically what they measure for rocks, um, steels, basically any metal that uh, they measure it on a scale. Now, this is really good when it comes to sharpening knives. This is kind of just the this is kind of just a demonstration on what you do to a knife uh, when you're sharpening it. And this is how it sharpens because I'm going to finish up my How to Sharpen a Knife series with this. Might not finish it. I might have some other things because there's other sharpeners out there that are pretty interesting and you guys might want to learn about it. But uh, just let me know what sharpening tools you want me to use in the comments down below. And I'll make sure to go check it out. I respond to every comment and I do appreciate it. Plus, I know I've been getting tons of comments about this bullet. Um, please do not comment anymore about this bullet. Uh, it's just a pocket knife right now. I don't really really care if it's an AK bullet or if it's not or if it's this and that. I do appreciate all the comments and everything that you guys have been putting but um, it's a little bit annoying that's like blowing up my comments is just all about this AK-47 bullet but um, yeah for me I just use it as a pocket knife just daily use kind of apples cuttings oranges and stuff like that simple stuff but what stainless steel and other steels and everything out there now correct me if I'm wrong is about a 56 Rockwell hardness Alright. A regular sharpener is about 57 to about 62, 63. Around there. So, what you're doing right here is you're taking um, a softer Rockwell hardness and you are brushing it back and forth on a higher Rockwell hardness. This will become more thin as you sharpen it. Um. I, I actually do want to show you one more video before I end this series, but um, I might not end it, I don't know, but uh, I can't really deploy my knife because I have no nails at the moment. Um, I always cut my nails, I always keep my hygiene, do you see? Um, but, you know, the Rockwell hardness, um, you're basically just taking uh, a very softer, a, so a little bit softer metal and you're rubbing it against a little bit of harder metal. Now you're brushing it back and forth, so it's actually taking off steel and making it more thinner. More thinner is actually better, so I'd recommend when you buy a knife, make sure that the blade is really thick. I'm getting a keyboard, and the blade is about that thick. So when I go to sharpen it, this will last a long time, because when you're sharpening a knife, you're taking off little by little steel off the blade. It will become more and more thin. As you can see, this is starting to take its toll. My sharpener has been taking its toll on this knife, so as you can see, it's starting to go down. It's originally supposed to be like that thick, but, um, you know, most knives have that happen. So that's basically what there is behind sharpening a knife. It's just basically kind of going back and forth and making the edge a lot more thinner. So when you cut things, it, it gets a nice clean cut. Most people failed to realize that so I just wanted to clear that up um, so also if you want to realign a blade this is what I wanted to show you guys in a separate video because this does take a little while but um, that thing that you have in your knife set where you pull it out and it has a big handle and it goes all the way down it's a it's called a hoe uh, it's like a ironing hoe or whatever a sharpening hoe I forgot what they call it I know it's a hoe but um, you know Correct me if I'm wrong, I have no idea. But, uh, I just watched a video on it. And to realign your knife, if you're in the makes of making your own knife, um, and you want to realign it, because it's a little bit bent off the side, use one of those. Keep on going back and forth, and hopefully get it back aligned to a straight point. That's what those are made for if your knives go out of, bent out of shape, so, you know, that's the whole point. Plus, I wanted to show you guys the new channel. Uh, YouTube page. Bam. TheHourArmory.webs.com I have a link provided in the side of my YouTube channel. 
Plus, I'll be giving out shoutouts to all the people that's been there for me at the beginning of when I put my YouTube channel up and definitely put some nice positive feedback to kind of make me keep on going on and doing what I'm doing. So, uh, basically the hopes of this website is to basically kind of keep you guys updated on what I'm up to in my videos. You can register, sign in, you can get uh, go to members, links, videos, photos, go to all these things. My YouTube channel, uh, the Arrow Armory YouTube channel website is on the side of my YouTube channel. So, I'd recommend going here because this is what I'm basically doing um, throughout um, what my videos are going to be. So I'm basically just going to keep on putting posts and posts and posts of my recent video and what I'm editing. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a drop rating down below. Check out the Pro Ranchers channel, Mr. Tech Gaming TV, and uh, I'll be signing out. See you guys later. Peace.